What's up, y'all, man? Check this out, man. So, um, the WBC just did the most holy shit. Um, after Javante a day or two after Javante Davis knock out Leo Santa Cruz, WBC somebody who worked for them, right? I seen it on Ellie setback page. Somebody who worked for them, um. Somebody who worked for them posted that Javante Davis, you know what I'm saying, was doing some illegal glove activity, right? So I'm like, God damn, like, bro, the tank hate is serious, man. Javante Davis is probably like the most hated active fighter today. You feel me? Let me name some of the hate, most hated dudes in boxing, right? You got Javante Davis. You got, I believe Wilder is hated like a motherfucker too. You got Earl Spence, right? Um, I'm trying to think who else. I'm going to just say them the, the top three most hated dudes in boxing, man. That shit crazy, man. Like, niggas, the WBC didn't even want to acknowledge the glove gate shit with Tyson Fury. But now y'all want to say something about tank glove shit. I'm glad Ellie Setback posted the video, right? I'm, I was trying to find my other phone so I can show y'all. But Ellie Setback Instagram page, or you can find it on his YouTube page where he posted where um tank, where they signed off on the gloves, the two pair of gloves that tank. He wanted to use the one that was more comfortable, which was actually more safer to use. And I'm like, man, these niggas, man. Is y'all niggas mad because Floyd called y'all ass out last week and said y'all niggas keep making up with these belts and shit or y'all just on y'all typical hating racist shit that y'all be on with the WBC? Like, them niggas, man, it's, it's to the point where WBC is almost like them niggas is about to be like un... They ain't got no respect. It's to the point where we don't even give a fuck about the WBC, man. We about to cancel them niggas in a minute, man. Like, everybody need to band together and get rid of their ass, bro. Get their ass the fuck up out of here. Because th these niggas doing too much shit. They doing too much shit, man. And it's crazy because if, if Tank is one of the guys who you who you look at right and you can tell that Tank is probably going to be like the most popular boxer you know what I'm saying in a couple of years or a few years you know he 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 going to be one of them so you would think like okay it it would be in your best interest to have this guy have one of your belts right to be seen like everywhere and because he going to be making the most money so it would be smart for him for him to have y'all fucking belt. I don't, like, well, don't that make sense? Like, Tank, Earl Spence, it would make sense for them niggas, for y'all to want them niggas to have y'all belt, bro, because them niggas is making the most noise. They is. So to even play like that, just let everybody know, just pure racism. And y'all dirty as a motherfucker. WC dirty as fuck, bro. It is what it is because if Javante Davis or Earl Spence, they got the WBC belt, right? Or or Jamel Charlo. None of them niggas need the fucking belt because them niggas is big anyways. You hear me? Like, they make the belt. That bitch-ass belt don't mean shit for them anyway, bro. It's just a fucking belt. You feel me? Like, it is what it is. Them niggas gonna get paid what they gonna get paid regardless because of their name and the work they put in and shit. Household names. Earl Smith's a household name. Tank a household name. That belt shit don't mean shit for them guys any fucking way. So, it is what it is, man. I just had to come out here and be like, God damn, these niggas doing anything. To, <laughs> anything. If Tank would have went 12 rounds, well, they would have fucked around and tried to give it to Leo. Like, you never know. Like, that's why I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? The niggas I fuck with in boxing take care of their business, man, in these fights because these people dirty as fuck, man. And they'll do anything to give you an L 
or make you look bad in front of a bunch of people. That's why I've been listening to Wilder interviews and shit, right? And I heard Wilder when he say that Wilder says that he talked when he wanted to talk. You know what I'm saying? He y'all mad cause he ain't talking shit like that. I still feel like he should have said some earlier. Just because if somebody playing with my name, you know what I'm saying, and saying I'm lying or this and this and that, I'm gonna say something. You feel me? He took a long ass time to say something. I believe he should have said something, bro. I don't give a fuck about all this shit. If all this speculation is going around, while people still talking about the fight, I think that's the best time to say something because niggas was playing with your name. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you know what I'm saying, protect that rep, you know? But now niggas done forgot about his shit, and now he just now saying something. Then I believe him. I know it's the nigga cheated because I done seen too much shit to be like, he ain't cheat. I seen so much shit. I know he cheated. But, matter of fact, I'm going to do a whole video on that shit, man. I just wanted to say that shit, man. WBC them dirty as fuck, man. I'm out, child. Peace.